Alright, let's call and make our ethics complaint. I think I'd have that number memorized by now. Supervisor Saladino's office, may I help you? Yes, hi, who am I speaking with? This is Donna. Hi Donna, my name's Robert Ripp. Hi, how are you? Pretty good. Uh, I'm calling for a couple of reasons. I had forwarded a um, complaint and an ethics complaint in relation to a town employee, John Antitomaso, to the office of the supervisor about a week ago. Okay. And I just wanted to uh, get some sort of ag acknowledgement that they received it. Okay, I can leave a message for the supervisor and have him get back to you. Okay, and then uh, the second uh, piece of information I wanted to give was you know, I attended the um, ethics board uh, meeting, and Mr. Leventhal uh, agreed that the town should take uh, verbal or oral or called-in ethics complaints. So I, I, I'd like to make a complaint right now, an ethics complaint, on Mr. Saladino. I think it's completely unethical that he swore an oath to uphold the Constitution and the, the codes of the town of Oyster Bay, while he knew that he was purposely violating the town building codes. Um, I would like this uh, complaint acknowledged. If there's somebody else there that you'd like me to speak to right now, I'd like my, you know, my information taken down, and I'd like to receive, actually, on, on both of my ethics complaints, on, on John Antetomaso and now on Mr. Saladino, I'd like a written acknowledgement that they've both been received. Okay, hold on one moment. Thank you. Thank you. I never check my battery or available memory on my phone. I hope I don't get timed out or worked out. And I generally leave these uh, recordings in live time so that you, know, you experience what I experience. Yes, hi, who am I speaking with? Hi, my name is Ron. I'm an assistant to the supervisor. How can I help you? Yeah, I'm sorry, Ron. I, I think we've spoken before, but I forgot your last name. What's your last name again? Uh, it's Gaglia. Right, hi. Listen, I, I, I just wanted to uh, call the supervisor's office because I have forwarded a ethics complaint and, and an internal complaint on town employee John Antetomaso, and I just explained to uh, the other assistant that I attended the ethics meeting, and Mr. Leventhal has agreed that ethics complaints can be made uh, orally. And since there's been no ethics board, no no you know venue set up for uh, residents to make these complaints, I am submitting mine right now to you. I think it's completely unethical that Mr. Saladino swore an oath to uphold the New York State Constitution, the Constitution of the United States and the town code and constitution, while he knew that he was violating the town's building codes. All right? I, I, I don't understand why, if uh, Mr. Saladino realized that he had building code issues, why he didn't address them prior to accepting the appointment as the interim supervisor, but that's, that's you know, I guess his own personal business. So I would like to, uh, I'd like you to acknowledge this complaint in writing. Uh, my name is Robert Ripp. 
My address is 77 Sunset Road, Massapequa, New York, 11758. And I'd also like to bring to your attention that I have previously submitted a number of ethics code violations which were placed on hold by Mr. Leventhal, and I believe that they should be reenacted now that we have a new board. How many, how many uh, complaints did you file, Mr. Rip? Two, and I addressed them in uh, specifics at the last town board meeting. Mr. Saladino should be quite familiar with them. I explained them to him in detail. Did you submit those in writing, um, or were they? Uh, did you submit them? No, th th those are submitted in writing, and actually, if you'd like, um, I mean, I've already, I've already emailed the supervisor this information, but I'd be more than happy to send it to you again. I have the original complaints, and I have all the correspondence from Mr. Leventhal that acknowledges that. Uh, the complaints have, were are continuing. They haven't been finalized or answered. So uh, I don't understand, you know, why anybody in your office would be acting as if you don't know what I'm talking about. When did you uh, submit those complaints, Mr. Rick? That's 2015. 2015. Okay. Um, can I just ask you what they were, uh, just to briefly describe them again for me? Yeah. I mean, I, you know, this is just, I don't, I don't have them in front of me, so this is just off the top of my head, but uh, ethics code violations in regards to Mr. Ippolito, ethics code violations in regards to Mr. Genova and Mr. Vendetta, all right, those were made in 215. The correspondence I have from Mr. Leventhal explains that uh, the reasons mentioned, he, he would put it, was putting them on hold, and I'd also like to bring to your attention um, this is an issue that, that I think this is a big issue, and, and this really puts some, some doubt on the credibility of Mr. Leventhal. You know, I, I also filed some additional ethics complaints, and they were submitted while there was no active ethics board, but they were somehow answered by Mr. Leventhal, who's a not, he's a contractor for the town. He admitted so, uh, as much himself during the uh, ethics meeting. And when I questioned him about this, he claimed that he had convened with the prior ethics board to come to the conclusions that he did, which would be, you know, ridiculous because the reason that we we paid him and we've uh, produced a new ethics board is because there were serious uh, deficiencies in the old ethics board. And quite frankly, the deficiencies are so serious that the old ethics board could never even have like a proper quorum and meet. So, in my opinion, Mr. Leventhal lied to me, all right? So, I don't understand how he exonerated town employees in the ethics complaints I made. So, I also believe that those ethics complaints should be reinvestigated by the new ethics board. I mean, that, that, that is just ridiculous. All, all it seems that the town is doing with your new ethics program is just covering up for people. Okay, well, Mr. Rip, I will certainly um, pass these along. Uh, if you'd like to resubmit them, would you like to fax those to me? Do you have a fax machine? Yeah, I have a fax machine. As a matter of fact, okay. no, why, why, why don't I just email them to you? That's the simplest way. They're in PDF. Right? I'll, uh, email, I'll email, uh, listen, I've already sent them. Joe Saladino is, is the email address for the supervisor, right? I believe it's Joseph Saladino at voicedebate-ny.gov. Right. Okay, right. So, so you know... Maybe you want, might want to ask the supervisor to check his email because I've been sending this information on a regular basis and I have some of the council people acknowledging they're, that they're receiving it. I also CC most of uh, the local press on it. They acknowledge that they receive it. So I don't understand why Mr. Saladino does acknowledge that he, he receives it. And I, I reiterate, you've already gotten it, but I'll send it again to his attention in the next couple of minutes. Okay. All right, um, Ron. And I assume he has your phone number as well. I mean, so yeah, I'm pretty sure. You know, I, I I don't really get the whole like you know, Mr. Saladin will get back to you, or contact you because he's been in office for a couple of months and he hasn't returned one email or one phone call of mine. So you know, come on, I I don't even know why you guys, you guys, I, like, how do you even say that with a straight face? Mr. Rip, I'm just going to pass along the message and I'm just trying to be thorough to make sure I have everything. All right, I. I appreciate you your professionalism. You know, that's fine. I'm, that's fine. You don't have to. That's, but I yeah, I don't mind giving it to you. Uh, five one six. Listen, Ron, Ron I, I don't mind giving it to you. It's all over the place. Five one six five four one two four one five. I didn't realize you were you were asking me for it. No, I, I 
wasn't. I just usually when I take a message, I just try to get contact information. Oh. And I will definitely. Well, then I guess I misunderstood. I guess I misunderstood your statement when you said if I didn't want to give you my number because you no, made. No, I didn't it, misunderstand. You know. No, I thought I I misunderstood it. You know, it, it, to me it, that that kind of made me sound like I didn't want to give you my number. I don't. Have a no, no, I didn't number. take it that way, Mr. Ripley. Don't okay. feel that way. Uh, I just, you know, um, so, you know, when people call, some people like to give information, some don't, and that's fine. Whatever everyone's comfortable with. So I definitely I will pass this along for you, Mr. Ripley. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Ron. Have a good You're day. You're welcome. Listen, you have a good day, Mr. Ripley. All right. Bye bye.